Jack, Jack, Trey, quads for the cannon. Cannons are crushing. Wow. Quads for Jen. My, uh, the king of quads today, what? Quads? <laughs> quads again. And Hashim wasn't in the hand. Clean. More quads, huh? Oi. Action on the 2005 World Champ, Joe Hashem, pocket sevens. Joe could put in a raise here, but most players just call with two sevens, and Joe could be a little concerned that Nacho's not just hijacking off over there. Hashem makes the call. Couple of jacks for the cannon. Now Ken's gonna want to raise here to make sure he's not taking a flop six ways. Well, Tony G's out, Joe, so it's really only five ways. But I see your point. Do you? Those look like raising chips. Raise 42. Re-raises to 4,200. Let's see who wins Daniel's inner battle. Will it be suited connectors in a three-bet multi-way pot, or I'm out of position? Just look at that inner struggle. Daniel loves playing with loose cannons. And not crazy about folding to begin with. Makes the call. Story checks out. Tilly with Queen Trey, and she'll have to ditch that, and does. Back on Nacho. When the cannon's in the pot, the pros tend to play pretty loose. Pretty, pretty loose. Barbero makes the call. Hashem's getting like the dumbest odds ever. If you factor in implied odds, he's calling. Aussies move at their own pace though. Oi! And Joe calls. Okay, we all wasted time. We did our little, every one of us, we did the, we know we're calling. Yeah, uh, whenever you call everybody, everybody knew it was. We all know we're calling. It's just a little, we're trying to be like Jennifer Tilly there a little bit. Well, Actress. Like, oh yeah. Four way action. Jack, Jack, Trey, quads for the cannon. Time to get back into deep cover. Check. Already. Daniel checks. Yeah. Nacho passes. Joe might think he has the best hand. But checks. This board's fairly dry, so it's totally cool to let someone catch up a bit. And Ken will check to the turn. I like it. Four of hearts. Daniel checks. Nacho checks. Still not too scary a board for Joe's hand, and Ken gave up the lead. 12,000. 12, Joe bets 12K. Anything Ken does here other than fold will look strong, so I think his best shot at looking weak is to just call. That's what you did last time. When? 12,000. Last night, Hashem bet 12-5 on the river against the loose cannon. Ken made the call with Queens, and Joe showed him two pair to take it. It was 12,500 last time. Talking when you have a big hand, that's classic loose cannon. <laughs> Ken calls. Daniel's done with it. Nacho's got a gut shot draw and not much else. He's getting a terrible price to draw to it, especially considering he could be and is drawing dead. And Mux. This isn't a super cooler, so I'm not really sure how much value Ken will be able to get out of Joe. River, deuce of spades. Nacho would have made his gut shot. Don't tilt yet, Nacho. Joe was the last aggressor. We'll have to see if Ken's call on the turn slows him down at all. And look at that, Ken's praying Joe fires off some money. I'm all in. He's all in. Cool. Four jacks, I guess. Four jacks. Ken shows the yeah. quads. Wow. Whoops. I guess. Wow. The cannon doubles up. Nice hand. If Thank I you. see the reaver, wow. That's what makes sense, okay, I guess. Okay, now fold everything. <laughs> <for the net. laughs> and then take your wife and go shopping. I'm going to let you do that. I'll probably, I'll probably just make a mess. Cannons are crushing. Wow. That was a good card on the river. Tough, Hashem. 67 Nice hand. Thank you, sir. Straddle, huh? Every time straddle, huh? Hashem with big slick? Not every time. Just teasing him. It's first time for you. You're taking the big punt here. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty stable. Joe raises to 2,500. Cannon folds his rags. Daniel's out. Tilly, pocket fives. Should be an easy call. She does. Heads up pot. Five king, seven rainbow. Tilly flops a set. Hashem top pair. Top pair versus a set. Yes. Tilly donks it for 3K. Poor Joe Hashem. This is just not his week. You know, as the main event winner, it is his job to spread the money around the poker community. He makes the call. Joe's got a 2% chance of catching up, so Jennifer's got to figure out the best way to get max value out of him. Turn. Five of clubs, quads for Jen. This is the second time Joe's been up against quads this week. Till he checks. Jen slows down in a perfect spot where Joe could easily think he's ahead. Obviously he does. He bets 6,500. 
Jen's taking your time with this one. And South America. You know some sponsors? There's something you need to do there? What? Argentina and yeah. Brazil? Like what? To what? And Jen, min raises to 13K. Joe, what do you think of this play? Not sure I love it. A check raise will look really strong, and if Joe's bluffing, you chase him out. Even if he's not bluffing, you still might chase him out. But by making it the smallest race possible, she's giving herself a good shot of getting called. And Joe does make the call. Jen's got quads, and she's got herself a customer. We'll see a river card. Ace of diamonds, two pair for Joe. That is not a good card for him. In fact, it's a pretty good card for Jen. Hashman proves to a better two pair, and it might make Joe more confident in his bluff catcher. She's not going to be able to get another check raise in. She'll have to go after her value now. Really? I mean, in Europe, not Twenty thousand. That's twenty k. I call. And Joe calls. I call Jen. You call. Four of a kind again. Wow. Am I uh, the king of quads today? Or what? Joe can't believe it. Really? I know that pain. I'm like four hash. I'm running into quads twice. Action starts on Daniel Negreanu, ace queen. It's a raising hand. Makes it 1,200. Tilly, seven four out. Come on, Daniel. Every hand. Yes, every hand. Jeez. Every hand till Saturday. Saturday he gets his highlights touched up. <laughs> Tony G folds. Fucking deuces for Nacho. Calls. Spike call. Do it. Let's. Uh oh. Bring Spike it. Spike call. Oh. Hello. Guy Kenny. Asham and Kenny call. Here we go. Got some of that Luke Cannon money. So Daniel's raise gets a lot of respect. Four way action. Deuce five, deuce quads for Nacho. Joe Hashem steer clear. Check. Check. Hashem checks. Ken checks. Daniel continues for 3,000. Nacho has flopped Hashem dead. Negranu dead. Rankowski dead. Niedermeyer and Dean Wormer dead. And Nacho just calls. Smooth call. I don't want to play with him anymore. First time Joe's avoided quads all week. <laughs> Poor guy, he folds and so does Ken. Couldn't have a pair of fives there, Ken, just... No, no. Luckily. Stick it. Turn, a ace of spades, a pair for Daniel. Rut row, top pair. Not just thinking, please bet, please bet, please bet, please bet, please bet, please bet. But Daniel just checks. Daniel checks for a multitude of reasons. He could be beat. The only flop draw just got there. He may not feel he can get two streets of value if he does have the best hand. And by checking, he gives Nacho the chance to bluff at it, which he is not bluffing. <laughs> Bet's 9,200. Barbero. Well, we all know Daniel hates folding about as much as he hates food that had a face. Nacho might play any baby ace with a wheel draw the same way. Daniel makes the call. Nacho's got a live one here. Another ace would be very bad for Daniel. Awesome. To the river. Three of hearts. This is actually a good card for Daniel because it looks bad as any baby ace is now beating him. It might save him some money. Daniel checks. Nacho's got to figure out how strong he thinks Daniel's hand is before he can figure out how much value to go for. Going for the great chips. Fires. Yeah, that card legitimately scares me. I, I thought I had the nuts on the turn, to be honest. I think I had the nuts on the turn, but that one, would you bet aces and threes with that? Let me see. How much do you bet? 20,000 Is he going to do the commentary thing? Cool. I'm going to split for a hot minute. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking like sixes or sevens. Sixes or sevens are, are good for me. I had you on ace four unfortunately, on the turn. So if you had ace four, then you just made a straight. Huh. Can only beat him turning a pair into a bluff. It's the only hand. But Nacho Barbero is very capable. God, I don't like that river. It's such a good river for you if you put me on jacks, right? You figure I have jacks, you have to bet that river card now. So many, I leveled myself with the pause in the turn. You know what I mean? On the turn, I studied, studied, and like sort of changed my range in his eyes, which forces me to go like that. Daniel calls. I had the nuts. Oh, that's good too. <laughs> quads? <laughs> quads again, and Hashim wasn't in the hand. Queen. More quads, huh? Oi. I was gonna say, that's what I think fives, wow. fives or something, like deuces. All right, there's no way you're gonna play. No, I mean, yeah. That all makes sense too, but I was like. Yeah. 
I should always put them on quads because right. I've never I've run seen into so many quads. quads in my life. Quads again, huh? Hard to put them on quads. I still think I have to call in a weird way. Nacho yeah. drags a pot worth over 70k. It's tough to fall though. No, I don't think I'm. The river card almost cost you money. No, I mean the the way the line you took, it's tough to fall. Yeah. That's right, Nacho. Smooth them over. Smooth them over like melted cheese.